Good day everyone and welcome back to NS2HD. This is a matchup between Inversion and Duplex, two of the best teams in the Natural Selection 2 beta. They are just getting ready to start now. This is the third game in the series and I'm here with Zico. Hello everybody. And we are going to bring you a commentary of this, the third game. Inversion successful both times so far, both teams ready to go. What do you reckon we're going to see in this game, Zico? Maybe something along the lines of first game. I, I doubt that they will try anything. Uh, weird or different, but we'll see. And here we go, we are live, both teams ready to go now. We have... Yeah, I'm eager to see the, the starting positions, if it will be the same as last time. There's the countdown timer. And they're off. So, inver inversion going for the 2-2 again, so 2 on every place, and... Uh, Duplex sending two on heli side and three on DC side. Three for DC. No one breaking off into crossroads, but uh, they're in DC. They will meet meet on the pipe. Yeah. Yeah, meeting in pipe. And now to ventilation where we have two marines. Yeah, Duplex taking the exact same starting I think from last time. So does inversion. Ooh, Swap taking a lot of damage there to those rounds. So vent and flight up, and Marines moving to heli. One harvester down so far, no crevice drop yet. But yeah, at least they got the, the reactor harvester early this time. Yeah, absolutely, that was a crucial blow to them early in the, la in the first game, I believe. Not having that fast harvester up in reactor really hurt them. Yeah, they must have lo lo lost a lot of resources. Doogie. So heliport. Extractor coming up and two Skulls coming from behind to heli. So four extractors going up very fast. This is exactly what Inversion did in the first game. And now a whole bunch of Skulls going down in Pipe Junction and Fana and Visions moving up into Data Core. Two Skulls and two Marines meeting in flight. Extractor going up in data core, that will be five extractors, and we can just watch the resources flow in for inversion. Aliens kind of meeting at crossroads, maybe wondering where to go, what to do. They are quite where spread out all over the map. The Skulls don't appear to have any particular target in mind. And now, oh wow, Sicknick is taking down the cyst chain in reactor. We could have a fast loss of harvester for duplex if they don't react this very quickly. Harvester has 80%. Right. Signic is taken down and cyst chain is recovered. Do they have a new cyst? They do in fact, so that was close. But no cigar yeah. for inversion there. And Duplex has the basic whip and a melee one I think. And they soon have 50 res for the first hive drop. So but they don't have a it? secured hive place. They don't. The only one that's even mildly free of marines is Crossroads. And that's never a great first hive drop compared to Data Core. Teleport and Dark were locked down at the moment. Vision's getting a rifle butt kindle kill on Joe's there. But the extractor event is not actually built. Interesting. It must have been reset. I mean, lately, uh, lately. Aliens pouring in the vent, taken down. Doogie, actually, three marines there. in the vent. Yeah, I think he th thought there was one marine building that extractor, and unfortunately, there are two more backing him up. And they, they were hiding nicely. Oh, great work from Jason taking down both those marines. And now they were to kill the extractor in uh, data core and maybe get a hard drop. Indeed, th those were important kills because now they can uh, defend in DC and get ready to drop the hive. There's a drifter coming. Two it's marines. It's not dropping. Yeah. Waiting for the perfect moment. One marine pressing on alien start. Two marines pressing on alien start right now. A lot of lurk gas in pipe. The gas is very effective in pipe because you can't really go away. Excuse me, just had to answer the phone just then. Very rude of me, but I am back. Good. So power down in DC. And uh, Marines having a hard time to get in. This is what I mean. The ramp is so hard to get, get up. Yeah. 
Duplex might get this hive up. Pain getting one kill on Fana there, but three skulks down. The hive now at 20%. One gorge in here. If he could drop some hydras, that'd be a big help. Does he have the resources? He... Inversion has four heart extractors. Oh no, Pain just went down. Pain being one of the best players on the Duplex team, and he was caught in the back by those two marines, and now they're pressing in. Hive only with 31%. The gorge on his own. He needs to back out. He does get taken down. We're going to have to see a very fast reaction from Duplex now to save this hive. So Inversion has advanced armory, grenade launchers, arm slab coming up, two IPs. Is there an ops? Uh, can't see it. So they've got pretty much everything in the book and all these stocks going down. It must just be so uh, demoralizing for Duplex to have this hive going down again. But Doogie manages to save the day, the hero skulk. He does go down, but he's bought crucial time for the rest of the team to get there. Can they back up and capitalize on Doogie's heroics? They all, all are coming one by one. Let's see if it's... Oh yeah, he's got it anyways. There we go. So the scan goes down and sees that there are lots of marine... Lots of aliens now, sorry, in this hive. And at 61%, we might see it pop. It's getting very close. There's one marine going through the door to cross and probably coming from behind to DC, and three from the front. The tension is palpable. Pain caught. He was trying to ambush from the vent. The scan going down again. The commander will be telling the marine team what's in here. Jason goes down. Let's see if they can get up the adapted ramp this time. Just lobbing grenades. I think they will. There's four of them. They've all got grenade launches. Plenty of ammo being dropped. The hive is at 81%. Yeah, coming from behind to DC. Hive on 84. It's taking a lot of damage. I don't know if it's going to be able to hold. Yeah, it's getting very close. But the skulks again okay. managing to clean up. Oh! Oh! It Hive goes, goes down. down. Two minus left. It was so close, and Duplex did so well to kill so Indeed. many marines. And for a moment, I thought all the marines were dead, but they were hiding behind the, the hive. Maybe they thought so too. And I th yeah, yeah, I think Duplex thought they were dead as well. I thought they were celebrating for a moment, and then uh, Fana and uh, Visions, I think it was, were behind the hive. Maybe right, yeah. But in Inversion still has. How many? Four extractors. Huge amount of resources pouring in. They're building ops now in base. Very sneaky positioning. And, um, Skulk and heliport. Yeah, I, I reckon Duplex needs to chew down some some extractors and then go for another hi hive There's drop. There's a new hive drop. Yeah. Yes. Very fast. But this this is very hard to defend. There's almost nobody. Only two. Lurks defending in now. Lots of marines coming in. Two lurks versus a bunch of grenade launchers. Maybe, maybe they'll be able to do it. Pain. So far? Yeah. Pain getting down that marine after Arga took the bullets for him. That's what lurks do always. <laughs> Let the skulk sun die and spike the marines. Yeah. It's a little bit lousy moment in the, in the game now. Just Marines reinforcing, actually building phase gates to vent to reinforce quickly. And if this phase Let's gate goes up, up, it's going to allow much will faster attacks on DC. It looks like aliens have nothing to say against the phase gate this time. Lurks just spiking. Now there's a gas coming up to. Still two lurks. On Duplex side, the Lurks have stayed alive for quite a long now. Arga dropping a whole heap of Hydras. These will be very vulnerable to grenades, but if the Lurks can keep the Marines distracted, the Hydras might be able to do a little bit of damage to them. Yeah, even though the, uh, the Hydras aren't so good when the GLs are up, you can still put them up because uh, more, more of your, most of your players have a lot of p res at this point when the second time is coming up. Yeah. Two of them remain, but uh, very few aliens left in here. Sorry, I take that back. Two, one lurk and two skulks. And yeah, they were sneaky. Down. Both came from behind at the same time. 63% on the unbuilt hive. 
I feel the inversion is having a hard time recouping and attacking at this moment. Oh, but that was crucial. Two, uh, two skulks. Was that one skulk and one lurk that just went down? I think it was one skulk and one lurk. I'm, I'm not sure. Lots but of grenades. Four marines moving in. As the hydras go down. 78%. This is exactly where it was last time. When yes, it's happening again. Happen. They're trying to gas, but actually managed to cast the yes, whole room. Oh, and Scott's abusing the gas. Corvetus is behind the hive. Oh, really? Do the oh, yes. I don't think the aliens realize. The, the hive on 34%. Can it go up? 96. I mean, 97. Now. If this pops, they're gonna have to fade very fast and drop a drop yeah, a tech. It's hundred now. Oh, up. it's up, but no, they couldn't be oh. all. No. Very. Did it get any closer? Oh. I don't just... Yeah, I did. <laughs> wow. Duplex must be heartbroken right now. They played so well to get that hive to where it was, and the damage was just done. And now the tech point is. It's actually one evolving, and it's been quite long. Joss again. Maybe Joss managed to get the fade again. Maybe Joss managed to get the fade again. And There's some lag, lag on updating the life forms on the on the scoreboard, so mm. might be. He yeah, is. his fade again. Yeah, so one fade. It's exactly like the like the first round again. Yeah, this is first round all over again. They got they have a lot more resources though in this round than they did in the first round at this stage of the game. Last stage when this happened last time they were on say. 20 resources, so they've got 52. And a fade right. could add crucial defense to a new hive. So we'll see. Can they get a new hive? Because uh, Marines have built command stations on crossroads and heliport. Mm. There's actually one skulk eating the command station on crossroads. So maybe and of course, there are three Marines in DC. Maybe if they could push into DC again and drop and then use the fade for defense, they could hold, but it's a big ask. Indeed, but the, I think the crossroads uh, command station was just destroyed, but was rebuilt immediately. So when Marines have this amount of extractors in the late game, they have all the tech they really need. And then they can just spam uh, command stations, just like aliens can spam hives. Absolutely. Command stations are much cheaper. Of course. They don't even need to build it. They can just leave it sitting there, stopping any hives. Indeed, it is full armor, even though it's not built, but not full health. Is Fana moving in to flight against two Skulks? Phase gate up in DC. Three Marines. Very interesting moving. to see what Duplex will do next. Three Marines moving to reactor. I wonder if we have seen a, a Harvester on Crevice at all in this game? I don't think we have, so Duplex being very low on Harvesters, I suppose we've seen the, the payoff with that being high team resources, so able to get the Hives dropped, but I'd say they're on very low upgrades right now. Yeah, there are no Cysts on Crevice either, so I guess their tactic is just to go with two Harvesters instead of three. Yeah. Fight moving to DC again. I'm pretty sure Duplex really want to get that um, base gate down. Looking desperate. Just everybody coming one by one from yeah. Duplex side. Might be the point where teamwork is, is getting harder and harder. Absolutely. You start to get strained and stressed. Orders start to get mixed up and everyone starts to drop and have a morale drop so this is a crucial team this is a crucial time for the team to, to pull together and attack together in groups there's a drifter in heliport hive up now and the inversions uh, dropped the uh, ammo pack at the exact moment in heliport and uh, by dropping an ammo pack on the tech point you can see if there's a hive or not so okay. they support the hive on the same second as it was dropped Wow. That's what I call luck. That is incredible luck. 
And now that they know it's there, we can expect them to be coming down on it like an absolute hammer on an anvil. But there's also a Lurk, a Gorge, and a Fade defending it. So it's solid defense. Oh, and great play from Joe's. And with the Gorge there to heal him up. Oh, but the Lurk goes oh, down. Oh, what a grenade. That was a from very behind, that was awesome. That could be an absolutely crucial <laughs> grenade. And I believe the, the Gorge just went down as well. Yes. So the Fade is pretty lonely now. He has to go all the way to the high heal, and yeah. they can just make the hive oh not really they yeah the gorge like is so nice. crucial in situations like that because he allows the alien team to stay forward without the gorge the fade is nothing indeed you're absolutely right skulks can do fine without the gorge but even they are empowered by the gorge a lot but fade without the gorge and especially with level zero armor Jesus. Yeah, and it looks like Envision's going to have a free reign to kill this hive. It will go down, and uh, Duplex is going to be in a tough spot. Very low resources. I'd, I'd say this is where they were after their second hive drop in the first round. They're really running out of options. Yeah, they're only one harvester, 20 rest. Not much you can do anymore. Let's can... see if they have something in this league. And you can see how Inversion just moves as a team so strongly when they have an objective they all move together at that moment looks like an attack on marine start yeah that's like one of the uh, last things you can do is just when when everything is falling apart on alien team just make a couple of strong rushes to the marine start when they do, still don't have turrets and you might actually even win the game quite possibly but it was defended Oh, Peacecade DC is down. Yeah, DC has, uh, has lost its defenses, but definitely no res for a drop. Yes, only 25. Still missing 25 for Hive. I guess the... But again, in in Inversion has to take time to regroup after the base attacks. And... Hmm. I'm trying to think about what you could do against this kind of Inversion play, where they just immediately take down any Hive you drop. Perhaps... A, uh, a, an alien start turtle where you went for, instead of lots of fights, lots of upgrades early on and tried to fight upgrades with upgrades, but uh, medium term, once it got to the medium game, I don't think that would work either. Yeah, it just doesn't work. The marines get so much more powerful along with the upgrades than, than aliens if they don't have the second hive. It just doesn't work. It's important to remember that build 187 is not intended to be, nor is it, a very balanced build. It's just another stepping stone along the road to natural selection 2 being finished. So I uh, wouldn't read too much into these imbalances. It's still a lot of fun to watch. Yes, but these games we've seen now just prove that you can uh, win on both teams, so it's it's not terrible. Absolutely, you can definitely. Inversion is proving that. With very, very strong play, you can win on either team. Some pressure in Vent, but also some pressure down through Crevice into Alien Start. And Swap calling GG. Yes, their half of the team is in the rare room. Yeah, that is Very over. interesting game. Pretty much the same starting strat as last time, but it was still very, very interesting. The, the really fascinating thing about these three games is that you can see that Duplex is incredibly good and they move as a team and they defend their hives with great skill and they kill Inversion, you know, one on one, two on two, three on three. So this, the incredible skill of Duplex makes the wins of Inversion look even better because these two teams are incredibly strong individually. Indeed. It was very um, interesting to see that the hives go up and down because it was like only a couple of percentage left on the first hive, and yeah. on the second I was actually just ready, and then after two seconds we got, got yeah. this Well that is so it, so that, so thanks that, very yeah. much for joining me. Thanks a lot, uh, and thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and uh, look forward to discussing these two games, these three games, sorry, in the comments. Well played to Inversion for winning, and well played to Duplex as well. Clearly a clash of titans in these games and we'll see you all soon for more NS2HD videos.